Okay. Hello, video vlog number two, coming to you from the Great Wall of China. I figured if I'm gonna be in Beijing, I should uh, go to the best place possible, and that is the Great Wall. So I'm sitting on it now, and it um, should be a bit of a background there. I have been in China for uh, about two weeks now. It feels like a lot longer. It's been jam-packed um, every single day, like, Pretty much morning tonight, there's been something on. Training, training was very effective. I feel beforehand it was like, yep, yeah, gonna be a teacher. Um, didn't had like the online course that we had to do, um, the online TEFL. But then we got the practical experience in Beijing, and we were essentially like thrown in the deep end, but in the best sense. Like we had to teach um, six hours a day um, with a with a teaching partner, and then we had to like do English. Um, like uh, and kind of a night t run a night class as well or participate in Chinese games um, it was like a casual night class um, and then lesson plan for the next day and that was like 10 days in a row we got one day off to sightsee um, went to the temple of heaven um, but all in all it was just it was non-stop and because of that I feel I'm very like mu much prepared and that was intense but it was more intense that it than my job will be and what most people's jobs will be so um, I'm happy I got that experience um, I feel, I feel it was very, very valuable. The children, the students, um, are a delight. They are very respectful, they're enthusiastic, they try really hard, they're so sweet. Um, they adored us and we adored them and there were lots of tears on the last day. Um, so over the, past, over the 10 days we got quite, quite, quite a nice bond. <laughs> no, go for it. Today is Thursday. Today's Thursday, and on Saturday, on the 29th, we all go to uh, all go to our cities. So I'm going to Wuhan. I'm excited to um, unpack my backpack and put like clothes on my coat hangers in my wardrobe, and um, I don't know, just kind of have a have a have a flat, um, have an apartment. I've been um, moving around for the past maybe like five months, so finally get to just, like settle down somewhere. So it's exciting, and I'll finally know a lot more about like my teaching position. Um, and uh, what my life is going to be like. It's been a little mysterious that I can't wait to you know, find out a little bit more. I'm a little sleep deprived right now. It was a long week of late nights and early morning and yesterday was my birthday and that um, tied in with everyone's first like night off so we all went to karaoke and uh, it turned into a bit of a late night and it was an early trip for the Great Wall. Tomorrow we're meant to be going to the Forbidden City but unfortunately it's closed so we cannot see that. Um, it's closed because they're pre they're, uh, the city is making preparations for the 3rd of September where they have a uh, celebration of the victory of World War II. So um, the city's getting ready for that. It's, it's massive. Um, they've even, for this month, they've taken half the cars off the road. So on the even days of the month, only number plates ending with an even number can drive and then it's switched around the next day. Um, so although that we can't go to the Fibbard and City, we get a beautiful Beijing with blue sky because um, there's there's um, factories shut down and um, cars off the road and there's uh, less pollution. So that's that, that's pretty nice um, and <laughs> clean air. Yeah, maybe that's it. Um, I definitely need to invest in a tripod. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes, a, re a really long time to um, to um, set set this camera up awkwardly on like one of the great walls, so I think that's a bit crooked, and I'm sitting a bit crooked, and there's sh weird shadow. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a tripod because it's just gonna make this so much easier. Okay. <laughs>